This, if you're a fan like me, You Look Without the Navy Lock is among the best movies ever. So do you want to join me today? Grab a chair, sit by the campfire, and we'll live this great show together. We'll travel through the entire cast, past and present, reminiscing about those who have left us and celebrating those who still shine. Are you ready? Let's dive in and rekindle some incredible memories. Gordon Jackson played the character leading Seaman Johnson in the film when he was 36 in 1959. Sadly, on January 15, 1990, he left us from bone cancer at 66 in London, England, where deeply saddened by his passing. Put back at once, whatever it was. I see. Sir. All right, GP, the milkman's brought the jeep. Well, oh, Chuck, <laughs> don't take any notice of him, sir. He comes. Scripts on it. Flat Tide was no great shakes <laughs> as a, a script. So I think they rather judged it on that rather than the process. It was a it was a very very good idea. I see. Wanda Ventham played the character Mabel in the film when she was 24 in 1959. See, at 88, she is living a fulfilling life full of passion right here in Sussex, England. Now quite still everywhere. Heads well up. Hey, Johnny, go. Throw your chest out. Oh, well done, that girl. Now I think I better take on. As before, I had discovered Greece for myself, and if somebody had said to me, you can choose your location and your leading man, I'd have said Greece and the Andre. Leslie Phillips played the character Lieutenant Poulter in the film when he was 35 in 1959. Sadly, on November 7, 2022, he left us due to two strokes at 98 in London, England, were deeply saddened by his passing. You buzzed, sir. Yes, Mr. Powder. We're ready for inspection. Are we? Oh, good. I was asking you, Mr. Powder. I've been working quite hard lately. I need to go to my house in Spain and forget I'm an actor, I think. <laughs> you work all the time. And Cardew Robinson played the character Lieutenant Binns in the film when he was 42 in 1959. Sadly, on December 28, 1992, he left us due to ischemic colitis at 75 in Roehampton, London, England, were deeply saddened by his passing. Where, where am I? You are here. Oh, good show. Who are you? I represent the press. I am un- ...people about, especially in Miami. I think we should slow everybody down, have a few more wonderful failures. So my objective is to make people fail really desire. Harry Jackass played the character Fortune Teller in the film when she was 37 in 1959. Sadly, on October 6, 1980, she left us with breast cancer at 58 in Kensington, London, England. We're deeply saddened by a passing. What would you do with a drip like that? <laughs> Thank you, Rosa. You're welcome. You're all... Have you walked all the way from the doctor like that? No, I started off like this. Cecil Parker played the character Commander Stanton in the film when he was 62 in 1959. Sadly, on April 20th, 1971, he left us of natural causes at 73 in Brighton, Sussex, England. We're deeply saddened by his passing. Want any repetition of the little uh, novelties that appeared during Captain Povey's last inspection? No, sir. A three-ton truck and ice work. Distemper. But um, hadn't he been vaccinated? There's a million to one chance, so the vets. Nicholas Phipps played the character Captain Povey in the film when he was 46 in 1959. Sadly, on April 11, 1980, he left us due to cancer at 66 in London, England. We're deeply saddened by his passing. Welcome aboard, sir. We're delighted to see you. That I doubt, particularly when you hear the purpose of my visit. Oh, well, uh, perhaps you'd care to come along. Walter Hutt played the character naval captain in the film when he was 62 in 1959. Sadly, on January 20th, 1963, he left us due to illness at 65 in London, England. We're deeply saddened by his passing. Too large to be disposed of in the way suggested by Commander Baxter in his minute dated 24th July 1959. Harold Casket played the character Gaston Higgins in the film when he was 33 in 1959. Sadly, on January 20th, 2002, he left us due to illness at 75 in Camden, London, England. We're deeply saddened by his passing. 
Oh, you will get 15 shillings at Pompey Sheep. Now, look, I got the trouble of getting it there, ain't I? Five bob, and I'll take two dozen cases. <laughs> After I've tasted it. It's a... Ronald Shiner played the character C.B.O. Banyard in the film when he was 56 in 1959. Sadly, on June 29, 1966, he left us due to illness at 63 in Hellsham, Sussex, England, where deeply saddened by his passing. Oh, there we are, TV. 65 blankets, all present and correct. All right, you cut back over to the park. Make sure the milkman's brought our jeep back. Oh, but he hasn't delivered to you yet, Chief. Well, I should hope not with thunder. Reginald Beckwith played the character C.N.I. in the film when he was 51 in 1959. Sadly, on June 26, 1965, he left us due to a stroke at 56 in Burn End, Buckinghamshire, England. We're deeply saddened by his passing. Over to cover it. Hmm? But you must have got somebody. All covered in crafts. What the blazes are they? Elvie Hale played the character Lady Ren Heather in the film when she was 28 in 1959. See, at 93, she is living a fulfilling life full of passion right here in Essex, England. Oh, I see what you are. Coming, sir. Quickly. I am being quick. I should be in public. Richard Caldicott played the character MP in the film when he was 51 in 1959. Sadly, on October 16, 1995, he left us due to natural causes at 87 in London, England. We're deeply saddened by his passing. Okay, let's chat. Who is your favorite character in the Navy Lark? Please comment and share interesting things below this video. And as always, show some love. Hit the like button, subscribe to know more, and hit the bell to never miss my new content. I can't wait to create more wonderful memories with you. Thanks so much and stay tuned for more. See you again as soon as possible.